Hello, my name is Stephanie Davis and I'm the Managing Director of Pimbrook Software. I'd like to point out a feature there in Sage that may not be widely used currently and that's bank feeds. You'll see here I've got a list of a test bank accounts and you can see which ones are bank feed enabled or not. If I click on the one that is not currently at the moment and I click on bank feeds, it will prompt me to connect to my bank. All I need is my online login details. Once I've those, three or four steps and I've got my bank feeds connected to Sage 50. So if I pop up here to one that is already enabled and click bank feeds again, you'll see this time what it's done is it's going to pull in the transactions for me. So what I've got here on the left hand side, transactions in from a bank, what I'm able to do is I can do one or many. So if I say these are going to be bank payments, I'll click onto my bank payment. Two of them will pop in there. I pop the nominal code associated with these transactions for the purpose of the demo. I'm just going to use adjustments. I will put in some reference there on what it's about. That's the amount. And off we go and literally click on save. You'll see now I've got a receipt. So if I click on a receipt here and I know what that one's for, I can click receipt and again, money in, I'm given the number of options and the transactions of what I can post. Click on OK. Again, I'm going to select my adjustments um, pop in my um, any details I've got there about the transaction. Click on save. Now I've got two options here. I can confirm the match. Or what I can do is I can confirm and continue to reconcile. So if I do that, I'm going to pop into a saved reconciliation and automatically that will pop them from up here into unmatched down into my matched list. Okay, and then you continue doing your reconciliation as normal. So if you need any further information, please don't hesitate to contact the office.